Here in Hawkinsville, Georgia, a Wednesday afternoon is business as usual. People working, kids in school, and the sun shining. Yet everywhere you look, there are still reminders of Hurricane Michael. A large tree laying next to a house. The pecan orchard just down from the harness track, ravaged by Michael's near 60 mile an hour wind gusts. And the cotton field directly next to the orchard, a total loss. But as you drive up Broad Street, standing tall and proud is Old Faithful. A redwood listed among the state's champion trees and believed to be the largest of its kind east of the Mississippi. In the days leading up to Michael, there was never a doubt that this sequoia would remain steadfast anchored to its roots. This tree has been here since the late 1800s, so uh, it nobody was really concerned about it. It's, it's you know withstood a lot of storms, so um, it nobody was was had any major concerns for it. It's around it's between 85 and 90 foot tall. We hadn't measured it in the last five or six years. The uh, circumference of it somewhere around 13 to 14 feet. Uh, canopy spread is a, somewhere around 30 feet. So it's a pretty good sized tree. Uh, it's, it's one of the largest trees in the county. Uh, it's definitely one of the largest on the east side of the Mississippi River being a redwood. Uh, there's another one in Culloden. They're kind of comparable in size, but this one I think edges that one out. It, it's definitely a symbol for Hawkinsville. Uh, we've, we've done some stories on it before, and Miss Wright, she actually donated this tree several years ago because she wanted to see it stand the test of time. She didn't want it removed, and uh, she donated the tree to the city of Hawkinsville, and uh, that way it could be preserved for, for future generations to, to, to look at and watch it grow. Exactly 10 miles from the Hawkinsville Redwood is a place where generations also continue and in some cases begin. Historic Twin Oaks Farm. Through the longleaf pines and towering above them is this iconic pecan tree. Like its distant relative, the red oak, it too refused to break while being battered by Michael's winds. You know, we hate to say we're really lucky because we know that that means that others weren't, but um, we are really, really fortunate that it was spared and um, protected during that storm. Based on what we know, um, circumference size, it is a little over 175 years old. The um, circumference is 14 feet and 7 inches, and um, the canopy is a little over 122 feet and then our estimated height on it is 113 feet. So, um, like I said, dates back 175 years, we believe. Um, interesting thing, before we planted the planted pines around here in January of 2007, it was just in the middle of a peanut field and a cotton field. And so, as you can imagine, it was the highest structure for decades. So when you think about the storms coming through, it's really phenomenal that it's still standing and um, has its symmetry to it, um, withstanding all of those years when it wasn't necessarily protected by the trees around it. It means a lot to me ultimately because of uh, what people get to experience out here. I mean, I'd say probably 70% of my couples now choose to have their wedding out here. And with an average of, you know, 150 to 200 guests at each of those weddings, you really think about how many people have been impacted by a special moment under this tree, and, and that's a pretty significant amount of people. So um, when I'm out here for ceremonies and brides and grooms are you know, saying their vows to each other, it never loses its significance on you know, what that special moment means to them, and you know, that's ultimately the fulfillment that I get from it too. For the Farm Monitor, I'm Ray D'Alessio.